and president of the city council. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing for our concert band's presentation of our national anthem under the direction of Mr. Eric Gross. concert band. Good evening, families and friends of the graduates of class of 2021. My name is Geraldine Acevedo. As a 12th grade assistant principal, it is my pleasure to be the first to welcome you to our 142nd annual commencement exercises honoring the Freehold class of 2021. I'd like to welcome our honored guest, Dr. Jen Sharp, Director of Personnel. Mr. Heshi Moses, member of the Board of Education. Mayor Kevin Kane. Councilman George Snur. Councilwoman Margaret Rogers. Dr. Lavetta Ross. Principal. Mr. John Hine, Assistant Principal. Mr. Jason Longo, Supervisor of Extracurricular Activities. And Ms. Dana Parabello, Senior Class Advisor. Tonight is a public recognition of the academic achievement of 307 graduates the class of 2021. Mr. Kevin Kane, Mayor of Freehold Borough, would like to greet the class of 2021 at this time. Mr. Kane, please step to the podium. What a great day. Dr. Ross, Distinguished guests, administrators, faculty, staff, family, friends, and graduates, good evening and welcome. As Ms. Acevedo said, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kevin Kane. I am the mayor of Freehold Borough. And on behalf of council members Margaret Rogers, George Snur, and the entire governing body, and the residents of Freehold Borough, congratulations to Freehold High School Class of 2021. As mayor, I routinely get called upon to do many things, some interesting and fun, others dull and routine. Among my many duties, one that I like best is speaking to young people, for in them, I see hopes and dreams of the future of our community and our nation. 
You guys picked a really interesting time to graduate from high school. In our wildest dreams, I don't think we could have imagined or anticipated what lie before us at the beginning of last year. You have been faced with many challenges. I imagine each of you have been touched in some way or another by the COVID pandemic. I'm sure you all know someone who fell, vi fell victim to the virus and isn't here today. For that, I am truly sorry. You have had to adapt to change in ways that would have been unthinkable just a short while ago. In some respects, you've been cheated out of what should have been your victory lap your senior year in high school. You've been dealt a rough hand. Now, one of the things I hope you have learned is how to deal with adversity. Adversity builds character, and character is everything. Who you are, how you live your life, and what you make of it all comes down to your character. You are at the very start of your life's journey. Your character is still in formation. But I urge you to use this past year as an opportunity to forge a character that is resilient and victorious so that many years from now, when you're old and you look back, back on this life you've led, you can say to yourself, without hesitation, I've made the best of the cards I was dealt and I have few regrets. Now, at some point during this journey we call our lives, you will come to realize how important your family is. Your parents, your guardians, your siblings, your aunts and uncles, your cousins, your grandparents, all had a hand in affecting how you turned out. The sooner you realize this and embrace it, the happier you will be. I find it awesome to reflect on the mystic chords that bind us to generations past. I am humbled by the sacrifice of, of, that those who have gone before us made so that we can be here today. It has been said that we stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. Everything we are today is because of the hard work and determination of others. We should be grateful for that. Gratitude is the foundation of character. As you go forward in life from this place and time, make a decision to commit yourself to being the very best you can be at whatever it is you choose to do. Some of you are bound for college. Some will join the service. Still others will take up a vocation and be begin an apprenticeship. Whatever it is you choose to do with your life, Remember the words of Dr. Martin Luther King who said, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets as a Michelangelo painted, or Beethoven compo composed music, or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause and say, here lived the great sweet sweeper who did his job well. More than anything else, when you're just starting out, life can be pretty scary. The world seems like such a daunting place, and you may find yourself afraid from time to time. We all get scared sometimes, but it's important not to let that take hold of how we live our lives. It's okay to be scared, but do not let it steal the dreams from you. You have a right to be here and demand your seat at the table. Stand up for what you believe in. Work hard for what you want. Seek help where you can find it. And reach for the stars. Best wishes, and God bless you all. Thank you, Mayor Kane. We now have a greeting from our Freehold Borough representative to our Board of Education and retired history teacher and coach here at the borough, Mr. Hesse Moses. Mr. Moses? Uh, more importantly than being a board member, uh, I taught and coached at the high school for 36 years. So I've seen both sides. Being a teacher and now being on the board. Uh, I just want to congratulate the class of 2021, the parents, the fellows. Um, I also want to help them to have a service. Um, thank you.
better service before you even start. So I've been through the 45 events uh, ceremony, these designations. I know I'm going to take this real short, sweet, and honest. And uh, I'm going to take the two other sort of pictures here. The best kept secret in the district was for the bell. It is the real world. And all the other schools, you know, I think I've been in a couple of them, and they went to me. This was the best school in the district. And people are going to put it on the floor. It wasn't a simple one. This is the best school in the district. Without a doubt, the best of the class of 2021, Matthew Collier. Good evening, Dr. Bill. Before I begin, I'd like to give a little thanks to all the administrators, staff, teachers, and school care families for making this day possible. Looking out to the crowd, I can't express how thankful I am to see all these beautiful faces family and friends who have come to see one of many accomplishments their son and daughter had achieved. Well, what can I say? It's been a crazy year. I remember on March 15th, 2020, when we were told that we would be back in school in two weeks due to the COVID-19 pandemic raging throughout the globe. Most of us thought of it as a two-week vacation and everything would return to normal by next month. But we didn't know that would be the last time we'd see each other until the following fall. Although I was stuck in my room for several months staring at the same four walls, it gave me time to realize and reflect on all the great memories I had throughout my few years of high school. Memories that will be stuck with me forever. Every moment I made sure to cherish as you only go through high school once in your life. However, those memories could have never been made without the class of 2021. To me, you are more than a graduated class. You are my family. And without you, my experience at Field High School We've never been the same. All of us have lived together, laughed together, and cried together. Most importantly, we were all there for each other throughout the good, the bad, and the ugly. It is safe to say that every one of you holds a very special place in my heart. One of my most favorite quotes is from President John F. Kennedy. He stated, Change is a law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. The future holds so much for each and every one of you. Even though a lot of us are going into different directions, I have no doubts that all of you will achieve nothing but greatness. This simply is not the end, but only the start of a new beginning, with a vast array of new opportunities and achievements that you all will accomplish in life. With that being said, I am honored to personally congratulate the class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Although you assemble here tonight as a group, it is altogether fitting that we should acknowledge two of your classmates individually for their accomplishments. Keeping with the age-old tradition, we recognize the class valedictorian and salutatorian. Your salutatorian is the student in your class with the second highest grade point average earned over the past four years at Freehold High School. 
It is with great pleasure I introduce the salutatorian, Sarah Cohen, who will be attending the University of Pennsylvania, where she will be studying philosophy, politics, and economics. Thank you, Ms. Acevedo. Good evening, everyone. First, I would like to thank Dr. Sampson, the Board of Education, Dr. Ross, Mr. Hine, and Mr. Longo for all of your tireless work to help give us the best education. And a huge thank you to all of the teachers, coaches, counselors, and my classmates for making Durham such a wonderful place to be and an even harder place to leave. I faced the scary notion of saying goodbye to Burrow once before. When I first came to Burrow, it was because when I was 13, I was convinced I would be a cardiac thoracic surgeon. I loved learning about anatomy and watching intricate surgeries, but mostly I really liked great anatomy. The medside program, the medside program was my chance to become Meredith Burrow. By the time that I reached my, the end of my sophomore year, I found that medicine was not in my true interest in. I discovered my true passion was politics. Choosing to focus on politics over medicine meant that having to leave Burrow was a real possibility. In light of the possibility of having to return to my home school, I realized how accustomed I had grown to the warmth, friendliness, and inclusiveness of school. Burrow is one of the most diverse places I've ever been a part of. No two people here are alike, and yet everyone has always been incredibly kind and personal. Burrow offers a well-rounded experience and a wide range of classes and fun. We have immense school pride and spirit in the and, and of course, all of the jokes we share, like convincing the freshmen there's a school on the roof. For these reasons, deciding to pursue politics was an incredibly difficult concept. I was overjoyed when I learned that I was able to both change my direction in studies and stay at Burrow while doing so. While taking the steps to change my business, doing so allowed me to work my next two years in Burrow. Now we are all faced with that. Because we have all faced the pursuit of new passions, we will face a new more into this change. Whether it be changing your major, starting a small business, switching career paths, and moving away from home, we will encounter many times where we will have to make difficult decisions to choose between two of our own passions, and we may not be as lucky as to have both fall in our lap. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. At Burrow, our class has already shown success in working through struggle. Whether it be adapting to block scheduling or learning to keep in touch and communicate over a screen, we have overcome many obstacles. With the changes we're while the changes were tough at the moment, they have made us stronger. I am confident that all of us will take on all of these changes with grace, ingenuity, and mobility. We are off to achieve great things, and I cannot wait to see it all. Thank you, Burrow, and congratulations, everyone, and best wishes as you go off to pursue your next day with passion. Thank you, Sarah. It is my pleasure to introduce Asta Kapadia as the valedictorian of the class of 2021. Biologic Medical Engineering, Asta, please come to the podium. Um, thank you, Dr. Ross. Um, before I start, I want to thank Dr. Sampson, Dr. Ross, Mr. Longo, Ms. Acevedo, Mr. Hine, and all the administration for all the continuous support. Last but not least, a very, very special thank you to Mrs. Buddy and all of the Medside teachers. The love our Medside class has for you will never be replaced. Thank you for always keeping the seven up in check despite our faults, especially through the unpredictable nature of the last four years. We will miss you so very much. Running a mile on the track consists of four laps. The first lap, you start out with a new pair of legs, all carved up and motivated in. The second lap, you ease into the race, staying at a casual pace that isn't too out of reach, but one you can maintain. The third lap is where it gets difficult. You start out only halfway done with just the two starting to hit. You're forced to accept it'll only get worse until you're finally done. Last lap, you use everything left in the chain to cross the line. In the end, however, the fight is always worth it. The class of 2021 has been an unpredictable four years, to say the least. High school musical was nothing like this. Freshman year, we all had to adapt to a new school with people from different towns and schools and teachers we never met before. Sophomore year, we faced block scheduling and a dreaded two-hour lab days. Junior year, well, it turned out to be a lot longer than a two-week spring break, but maybe let's not speak about that. And this year, while well, seeing people on a screen for most of the year was, as we all know, terrible, 
no other way to put it. I mean, I set foot into school for the first time on June 2nd, we were 12 school days for graduation. Nevertheless, we all persisted. Rather than dwelling on the past and the what could have, it should have been, we chose to look to the future, not letting what we might have missed control what opportunities we still had in front of us. I want you to look down. What do you see? No, not your phone. Get off of it. And no, not to sweat dripping down the person in front of you. I know it's okay. It's hot out here. But your feet. For those who know me well, you know I have a particular hatred towards feet. And that is fear, just a very strong distaste of them. However, I've learned it's important to tolerate the things you find intolerable, like the school's air conditioning breaking on 90 degree days. Because those are the things you end up growing from the most. You're probably thinking, why is the school talking about feet at graduation? <laughs> My feet, like all yours, have carried me throughout the last four years, and they will continue to carry the weight of the successes and failures of our teachers. They took us into every classroom, every field, every court, and every mile-long line to the bathroom. And now they're carrying us out of the place we've been calling home, but not without leaving our foot behind. We may take them for granted, but they kept us rooted, and we felt like we were drowning in between hours of homework, studying, club meetings, sports practices, and sports games. We got us out of bed and to school at 7.30 in the morning on cold, dark winter days when it was the last thing we wanted to do. Every day, we continued to put one foot in front of the other and look where it got us. We didn't. But this is only the beginning. I can't guarantee that you will never trip and fall, but I do know that each and every one of you will always get back up again. The resiliency that we have all shown will carry us far, and no pandemic will ever stop that. We, the class of 2021, have shown that no matter how high a hurdle is, we will not quit until we get over it. As Hannah Montana once said, you will always find your way back home. We might be walking away for now, but a part of our hearts will always remain here. Thank you, Burrow, for being my home for the last four years. I can be more grateful. Thank you. I see done. Thank you, Essa. At this time, I would like to welcome Ms. Parabello, your senior class advisor, to the podium. Although we are here to celebrate the class of 2021, we wanted to take a moment to recognize the class of 2020. Throughout their four years of high school, the 2020 graduates held many fundraisers and events to offset the cost of their senior activities. Unfortunately, the pandemic cut their years short, and they did not get to benefit from the fruits of their labor. We did not want their hard work to go to waste. Therefore, the money raised by the class of 2020 will be used to purchase a new scoreboard in the main gym. Their memory will live on for decades as a scoreboard will be enjoyed by all classes, alumni, and spectators to come. And to our future alumni, the class of 2021, it was an honor to be your advisor. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you, Dana. Good evening. Isn't it wonderful to be together in person to celebrate this grand occasion? Mm -hmm. Dr. Sharp, Mr. Moses, Mayor Kane, Councilman Schnur, Councilwoman Rogers, distinguished guests, parents, guardians, families, Freehold Borough teachers, and especially the class of 2021. It is a great honor to stand before you today to celebrate the 142nd commencement of Freehold High School. My charge tonight is to share the accomplishments of this phenomenal class. But in doing so, I would be remiss if I did not head, take or head down the journey towards this day. Despite sharing time with this fine group of seniors for only five short months, being a staff member in the district has provided me with insight to their beginning of high school. As mentioned in the speeches of our student speakers, the class has truly experienced change every year of their high school career. So please allow me a moment to take the graduates down memory lane. Graduates, 
Remember when you entered Freehold High School September 2017? This is when you experienced your first change, going from middle school to a high school with an 11 period day, 47 minute classes and four lunch periods. Who ever heard of period 11? As a sophomore, you experienced change once again as the district moved to a rotating block schedule with 67 minute classes, one lunch period, seven classes with only taking five of them a day. But now everyone can have lunch with their friends. Then the unexpected happened in junior year when the world became victim of a pandemic and what was supposed to be a two week reprieve resulted in not completing the year in person and the cancellation of spring sports, activities, and battle of the classes. And in its place came many questions about the future. Who would have thought that this experience of change would continue in your senior year? And now you have to make a choice on how to receive your education. Will it be virtual? hybrid, five days. In addition, three new procedures entered your daily routine. The daily COVID questionnaire, temperature checks, and wearing a mask. And let's talk about athletics for a moment. Who ever heard of sports with no student fans? Think about that for a moment. Yet, all of you and our athletes and teams gave 100%, participated in playoffs, sectionals, and some achieved all shore and state honors. We also enjoyed a band and choir concert on the lawn and a student-created musical in our auditorium. So despite four years of changes, you have succeeded. To begin, the class of 2021 continued with various community service projects. And as a result, they received various recognition, including a recent citation from Mayor Kane and the Frio Borough Town Council. The class of 2021 made the honorable decision to stay at home by selecting virtual education to assist with the virtual education of younger siblings. The class of 2021 applied for and received many scholarships that will aid in the cost of college education. The class of 2021 never gave up. Kudos to you all. Now you are about to experience another year of change as you begin the next chapter of your life. There are some of you who have decided the next chapter of your life will be the United States Army. I would like these graduates to please stand and be recognized. Alex Tilapia. Brian Velez Pereira. Sharon Alexandra Sweet Perez. Andres Perez. Going to the Army Reserves, Andre Alarcon. The ROTC, Lewis Thoughts. And we have one student who has accepted a commission to the United States Military Academy at West Point. Please stand, Michelle Hahn. We thank all of you in advance for your personal sacrifice and service to our country. from one of our fine colleges and universities here in the state of New Jersey to those across our great country. 
we celebrate you in advance for your commitment to education. Others will be joining the workforce, and we too celebrate you. I want to thank you, parents and guardians, for trusting us with the education of your children and bearing with us, especially this year with the many changes you have had to endure. Graduates, your teachers are all here today because they care for you and want to celebrate this time with you. They too have experienced the journey of change this year and would not want to let this day go by without supporting you this evening. Graduates, let's give your parents, your guardians, and your teachers a round of applause. In closing, I leave you with the words of Chadwick Boseman. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Congratulations, class of 2021. The Burrow family is proud of all that you have done and all the great things you will do. I now invite Dr. Jennifer Sharp to the podium to certify the class of 2021. Good evening. On behalf of the superintendent of schools, the Freehold Regional High School District Board of Education, <laughs> and the Central Office Administrative Team. It is my distinct pleasure to congratulate the members of the Freehold High School Class of 2021 on their accomplishments and to wish them every success in their future endeavors. It is now my honor to confirm that the members of the graduating class of 2021 were assembled have fulfilled all of the requirements for graduation in accordance with the New Jersey Department of Education statute and regulations, as well as the requirements of the Freehold Regional High School District, and therefore are eligible to receive their high school diplomas. I now certify the Freehold High School Class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. The diplomas this evening will be awarded by Principal Dr. Lovetta Ross and Director of Personnel Dr. Jennifer Sharp. They will be assisted by Mr. Hesher Moses and the senior class officers. Dr. Sharp, Mr. Moses, and Dr. Ross. We will now be presenting the diplomas to the class officers. Class officers, please come forward. Valedictorian, Asta Kapadia. Salutatorian, Sarah Cohen. Senior Class President, Matthew John Collier. Senior Class Vice President, Hannah Chu. Student Council President, Isabel James Rivera. Jason Lee, 
Natalie K. Agurto. Ethan Lenares. Benjamin Aiello. Adriana Lino. Andre Alarcon. Anthony Lucurcio. Angel Alberon Ortiz. Vincent A. Lapocaro. Jordan A. Almeida. Tony Ann Mia Latito. Edwin Jeremy Alvarez. Zachary Lowy. Kristen Ashley Anastasia. Sophia Amelia Lyon. Ryan Arcy. Alexander Litovin. Thomas Asenza. Samantha Noel McGowan. Angel Avila. Isabel McCray. Michelle Lara Avila. Umkar Mahadevan. Kayla Nicole Barba. Nargiza A. Malakova. Fabian Barrios Jr. Dylan Manabat. Marcus Bastry. Ethan Thomas Martin. Bitlali Maritza Becero Valeriano. Eduardo Martinez. Ariana Beltran. Matthew Martinez Cruces. Diana Bendit. Denise Martinez Morales. Emily Benitez Quaddle. Flor Mayate Martinez Zarate. Jacqueline Benitez Mujica. Manuel Martinez Anacalo. Reina Botnagar. Nadia Matias. Sahil Bot. Lorenzo Enrico Maddy. Jared Bryce Blummer. Giselle Mayan. Robert Bozar. Jason Ivan Mays. Jennifer Bravo, Jennifer Sylvia Bravo Morales, Riley M. McGowey, Robert Bozarth. <laughs> Jose Mejia Matias. Jennifer Sylvia Bravo Morales. James Mendez. Patrick Brooker. Ethan Meng. Sydney Jordan Booner Kemper. Maya Miller. Jacqueline Butch. Jake Mittenzwein. Araceli Cabrera, Yasmin Layla Moore, Kimberly Calderon Martinez, Ryan Patrick Neely, Jonathan Campbell, Omar Morales Puebla, Dominic Francis Panzona, Danielle Nesbis, Jake Caparelli, Thomas William Nesgis. Jonathan Cardozo, Araceli M. Nayola, Jason Carpenter, Rhiannon Lee Nydick, Anthony John Caruso, Chloe Orsag, Christopher John Cassell, Jason Ortegoza, Frank J. Castaneda, Prince Owsley, Matthew Stephen Castles, Jade Kim Owens, Taylor Cavalieri, Jason Pacheco Parajas, Dylan Saranov, Matthew Ryan Pascal, Nathan Cervantes, Jay Patel, 
Joshua Sharon, Shivam M. Patel, Ozichi Chinedu, Dominique Gianna Patty, Arthur Chubikov, Elazar Paz, Jessica Isabella Sicado, Louis Pelez, Zara Clark, Nora Anel Pelez Ayala, Madeline Clemenko, Alexander Cirillo, Gianna Maria Columbia, Kayla Perez Morales, Julia Marie Contract, An Andras Perez Zuffi, <laughs> Megan Ann Convery, Ashley Lynn Perry, Jason Luis Coppola, Ashley Poblano, Andre Corella Castillo, Anatella Antonella Donata Porcelli, Jessica Cortez Mexicola, Gianna Michelle Crate, Clara Cortesano Rodriguez, Tarun Pacross, Abigail Coles, Ryan Puharis, Sydney Annalise Cranwell, Jesus Polito Pascual, Jack William Crivelli, Connor Quinn, William Harrison Cross, Mackenzie Quinn, Michelle Potlado Tellez, Timothy Stephen Quintero, Marlon Quaya Aguilar, Jimena Quinto, Nicole Denise Cullen, Alexander Quinto Herrera, Kyle J. Scott Curley, Notion Raman, Jaden Dale, Jorge Ramirez Jr., Mohamed Donish, Jorge Ramos Analaco, Ryan Michael Dom, Jazir Jalen Reed, Clarissa Germani Davis, Selena Reyes Balthazar, Savad Davis, Kevin Reyes Lopez, Deja Brianna Davis Knight, Natalyn Reyes Rodriguez, Jasmine Guy Dean, Arizona Renoso, Anthony Paul DiCarlo, Christopher David Ribel, Sunny May Decker, Alfonso Ricapito Jr., Mary De La Aero Acticeno, Eliana Richmond, Carlos De Leon, Mario Rivera III, Christina Del Qualio, Catherine Murphy Rogers, Samuel L. DeMary, Justin Rojas, Alyssa Ann DeSantis, Aileen Victoria Rolden, Dominique Alexandria Doman, Dennis Tadeo Romero, Andrew Donahue, Mike Romero Vargas, Jocelyn Hunter Dow, Stephen Michael Rotuno, Veronica Arofeva, Adriana Rose Runco, Myra Esquivel Hernandez, Angela Nicole Russo, Noah Sol Evans, Eleni Saris, Kayla Marie Fabrizi, Jack Sharnagel, Miguel A. Feliciano Jr., Gianna Marie Scanamilio, Erica Fernandez, Jacqueline Ann Scanamilio, Millie Figueroa Aragon, Avril Sila, Miyako Fisco, Alexis Nicole Serluco, Faith Fletcher, Jacob Cernoff, Ryan Hunter Forgosh, Maya Schaefer, Justin Forsyth, Shakim Schuler de Jesus, <laughs> Jacqueline Fuentes, Michael Sicaris, Alexander Fusco, Evelyn Silverio Castillo, 
Sage Olivia Fusco. Logan Aiden Sindel. Jessica Galindo. Haley Singara. Alexander Galindo Cardozo. Amarine Slats. Christian J. Gombacorta. Tiffany Smith. Michael Thomas Garcia. Neil J. Spira. Jonathan Garcia Lopez. Benjamin Stillman. Sterling Garcia. Sophia Adriana Savali. Louis Garth. Cameron Jackson Stokes. Michael Anthony Gasparo Jr. Gracie Colleen Stokes. Alexander John Glegg. Sharon A. Sweet Perez. Jamie Gold. Amanda Elizabeth Sweenor. Jamie Ray Goldstein. Jessica Anna Taylor. Nicole Gonzalez. Stephanie Tellis Quatlado. Alyssa Marie Gordon. Hernan Tello. Adis Garenza. Mario Tapoa. Matthew Grady. Lucas Timpanaro. Dominic Granada. Alex Tlapa. Samantha Griffin. Jeffrey James Tobias. Joya Rose Griffo. Jessica Tashua Quattle. Jillian Gross. Jenna Lynn Tolko. Lorena Guberman. Paul Ulanis. Brian Gademi. Dory Ann Valentine. Scarlett Gutierrez de Leon. Tommy Valverde Lopez. Yahira Gutierrez Lopez. Michael Vasquez. Renee Kirsten. Michael Verone. Nicholas Hall. Brian Velez Carrera. Joshua Hanrahan. Alex Verney. Patrick Heeb. Karina Vivas Marine. Chelsea Michelle Hernandez. Lance Wagner. Alan James Hersey. Michael Francis Walton. Lameka H. Hickman. <laughs> Stephanie Wan. Sophia T. Hobart. Jason Wang. Christina Hoff. Ari Jacob Weiss. Michelle Hahn. Logan Daniel Weiss. Erhan Hope. Shannon Rose Weldon. Spencer Raymond Hurley. Ruthie May Whitley. Thomas Ionelli. Jack Peter Wildman. Leora Islam. Liam Wiley. Tony Tyre Jackson. Israel Josiah Williams. Barbara Melina Jimenez Silva. Shael Wilson. Allison Nicolette Jobe. Morgan Emily Wolf. Janae Alexis Rosetta Jubilee. Richard Wolfstrummer. Gabriella Alice Kaplan. Ashley Marie Chique. Gabriella Katz. 
Kirk Young Jr. Gavin A. Kerrigan. Madeline Lee Young. Reed A. Klein. Gabriella Zarneski. William Walter Nab. Christopher James Zemeck. Abriana Rose Lang. Nathaniel LaRue. Brianna Laura Larson. Ashley Nicole Lashenis. Classmates, we are now officially alumni of Fulton High School. It is time for us to flip our tassels from right to left. Parents and guests on the field to join us in the celebration. Thank you all so much for your time. God bless. 